Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Now, as you are all aware, we did begin our Premier League prediction uh, league last year. Now, if you haven't joined yet and you want to join, in the description there's a link. Go sign up there. And as you can see, um, you're more than able to catch me because I am really, really bad at this as it turns out. Now, I don't want to embarrass myself and cut, you know, I, I can't stay last, can I? Let's face it, I'm hosting this thing. Uh, I need to be at least competitive. So, I've called in some help. Uh, I've gone, to, I've sort of searched the internet and I think I've found someone who will be able to help us. Uh, he's a mystic. He's supposed to be very, very good. Um, specializes, he says, in predicting football results. So, um, let's go and see how we do with him. I think his name is Mystic Matt. Um, so, come with me. Let's, uh, let's see how he does. Ah, oh, yes. Come in. Come in. I've been expecting you. Now, I understand you are having trouble predicting Premier League results. I can help you with this. Between me and my tarot cards... We will tell you who will win the Premier League fixtures in the upcoming week with 100% accuracy. Now, I understand the first game you're looking for is Arsenal versus Burnley. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, okay. Well, it's Arsenal, so these cups clearly cannot represent trophies. I sense drinking. I sense drunk defenders stumbling around, perhaps. The next card... Okay, okay, an armoured man with a stick charging. It's definitely someone from the north. Uh, this clearly, I feel, I feel this represents an unsophisticated attack on the Arsenal goal. And the final card. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. There are two exposed breasts, uh, which represents uh, the Arsenal goal being exposed twice. But the four beasts surrounding, they tell me that Arsenal will score four. So the score will be Arsenal 4, Burnley 2. The next fixture is Aston Villa versus Bournemouth. Now the first card. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. A brave knight upon a noble steed holding a trophy. This clearly represents Aston Villa returning home for the first time since lifting the playoff final trophy. And the next card. Okay, okay. I'm sensing, I'm sensing a hand with a sword uh, and a crown, but no brain attached. This tells me that Bournemouth will attack without thought. And the final card. Hmm, interesting that the spirits would send me the same card twice. Hmm, interesting indeed. I am sensing that the cups in this card represent goals. We have already seen the spirits have shown us that Aston Villa has one trophy or one cup. I sense that this means Aston Villa will score three goals. The score in this fixture will be Aston Villa 3, Bournemouth 0. The next fixture is Brighton and Hove Albion versus West Ham. Let's see what the cards have to say here. The first card. Okay, interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. I'm seeing a well-dressed, pampered man. Not the type up for a fight. I'm sensing Brighton are overconfident after last week's performance. And that's what the spirits are telling me here. The next card. Okay, okay. I am sensing... I am sensing the spirits are telling me that there is a dejected... A dejected queen on top of the throne. Low in confidence and holding a star longingly. Now this star I'm sensing can only represent Anakovic. Or perhaps Andy Carroll. There was a deep feeling of loss that I'm getting from the spirits here. And let's see the final cards. Interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. Triumphantly, I see a victor riding away with a new star. Uh, a new star I sense will be born is what the spirits are trying to tell me here. I sense the score in this game will be Brighton nil, West Ham 1 with Albion Ajeti to score the goal. The next fixture I sense is Everton versus Watford. The spirits have guided me well. Let's see what the cards have to say here. Okay, the first card, interesting indeed. I see 10 sticks being carried by one man. I feel this doesn't bode well for Everton's team performance. The next card. Okay, okay, a man looking desperately to find what he has lost. This clearly, I think the spirits are telling me, represents... Watford seeking a better performance after the debacle of last week. Let's see what the final card has to say here. Oh, oh, this is powerful. This is a very, very powerful message that the spirits are sending me. Two teams looking to do a deal with the devil, desperate for a result. But ultimately, 
chained, chained together in deadlock. The score here will be Everton nil, Watford nil. The next fixture is Norwich versus Newcastle United. The Spirits here, let's see the first card. Mm, this is very interesting, very interesting. There is a lot going on here. Books being read, wheels being carried, all guarded by a sword. It appears it has been a very busy week at Norwich training this week. I am sensing the spirits are telling me they are much better prepared for this challenge. And the next card. Okay, the message here is clear. The message, I think, is very clear to us all. It's a man crying on a bed. This is definitely a member of the Toon Army. And the final card. Wow, this is... This is very powerful. This is a very profound, interesting message the spirits are sending me here. The dead rising up to give praise to a higher being for a miracle. Now you will notice St. George's Cross appears on the trumpet, which also appears, albeit in different colours, in Newcastle's logo or badge. This is, this is very obvious to me what the spirits are saying. There will be a miracle in Norwich. The score will be Norwich 1, Newcastle United 2. The next fixture is Southampton versus Liverpool. Let's see what the tarot cards say for this one. The first card, this is very interesting. You will notice the red wings of the liver bird behind the trumpet player. This is a sign the spirits are telling me, warning Southampton who is coming to town. And the second card, okay, okay. A man in red holding the world in his hands to show Liverpool fresh from Super Cup glory, that they are all conquering. And the final card, yes, mm -hmm, yes, very clear message the spirits are sending here. Three daggers through the heart of the home team. The score will be Southampton nil, Liverpool 3. The next game I sent is Manchester City versus Tottenham. Let's see what the spirits say here. The first card... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. It's a very, very clear uh, message being sent here. A reminder of who the champions are. And the second card. Okay, yes, I do see this. A young pretender is what the spirits are saying here. Tanned, good-looking, is challenging for the cup. And the final card. Yes, very profound spirits. Thank you. I see what you're saying here. The sword has been stripped from the challenger and now lies next to the cup, further adding to the collection of victory. You will notice that the victorious man stands, four fingers wrapped around the beacon and one pointing to the ground. This is clear. The score will be Manchester City 4, Tottenham 1. The next game I sense will be Sheffield United versus Crystal Palace. Let's see what the spirits are saying about this one. Interesting, very interesting. A cup overflowing, a bird diving head first into that overflowing cup. I sense the spirits are saying Bremel Lane will be heaving, but like the bird, they will be leaping into the unknown. And the next card. Interesting again what the spirits are saying. A warrior riding north with a stick, not a sword. The symbolism here is very, very powerful. Crystal Palace are unsure that it has the weapons necessary to attack effectively their opponents. And the final cards. Yes, yes, this is clear what the spirits are saying. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, praise be, praise be. The stick is now a sword with a single bird flying overhead. The score will be Sheffield United nil, Crystal Palace 1. The next fixture is Chelsea versus Leicester City. The spirits, guide me please spirits, the cards. Yes, yes, this is very, very powerful indeed. Stars heaped together, a man unable to arrange them into any sort of order. This is very clear, Frank Lampard, what the problem is here. And the next card. Yes, spirits, thank you. This is, this is wonderful, wonderful symbolism. A man who had four weapons, but now mourns the one that he has lost. I'm sensing the weapon may have been lost to Manchester. And now for the final cards. Yes, yes, thank you, spirits. You speak to me so clearly, I am not worthy of your, of your trust. But the symbolism here is clear. One sword, no stars. The score will be Chelsea nil, Leicester City 1. 
Oh, thank you, spirits. You send me your spiritual kitty. Thank you. Goodbye, spiritual kitty. There is a final game, and I'm sensing it is Wolverhampton versus Manchester United. Spirits, if you can send me cards and not cats. And the first card. Oh, this is this is wonderful stuff, spirits. Thank you. Three cups knocked over. Two are standing. There is a man dressed in black. He is mourning the cups that spilt. Two spill red. And one spills yellow. This is very powerful stuff. The next card, please, spirits. Yes, yes. A wealthy man. He has former glories behind him. He is rich and proudly displays these former glories. But his crossed arms suggest he is protective. He is afraid of losing these past glories. And the final card, please, spirits. Yes, yes, yes. This is clear to me. This is this could not be more clear. The man no longer mourns. He has shed his black clothes and he now celebrates the two spilt cups of red liquids with the white wolf by his side. The score will be Wolverhampton 2, Manchester United 1. Thank you for visiting me, my children. Go now in peace and I will see you next week where I will once again tell you who will win every single game in the Premier League. Go on, go on, get out of here. Go on, go, shoo, 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 shoo.